Bay Bay in Revival Made Native PH History Hits, Manila, Philippines with deliberate golden strokes. Artist Tate and Luthero proudly brings an ancient script back to life, in the hope of promoting an endangered but contentious part of Philippine heritage. Once confined to history classes, Bay Bay, a 17, Tyson character indigenous script used before Spanish colonization, is making a comeback among the nation's millennials, young professionals and diasporas. Even as technology renders writing by hand outdated, online clicks of calligraphy and digital fonts for the script has gripped the smartphone generation and now they vain, last used hundreds of years ago, is appearing on everything, from tattoos and key Tyson shirts to mobile apps. Proponents hail the pretty linear text as a crucial part of Philippine identity, but in a country with 131 government recognized languages, critics say investing in the promotion of their ancient text over others is controversial and impractical. Literate ancestors is bittersweet. It made me proud knowing our ancestors were literate, said Lutero, who studied calligraphy in Japan but returned home to apply his skills to reviving Beidou. What's bad about this is what's being propagated in our education system. It's like our history started with being colonized by Spain, the 31, Tyson year old added. They Bain was the form of writing used before the Spanish arrived in 1521, and missionaries had to learn it initially to spread the politician before forcing locals to adopt their Roman alphabet, historian state. Its resurgence has prompted calls from some for a law declaring Bay Bay in the national grid. Thus regional scholars say the text is important mainly to catalog the people historically based in and around the capital, rather than to all Filipinos. Wiped out, advocates say reviving Bay Bay will provide an antidote for a nation grappling with its colonial past and is a way of celebrating indigenous history. Many are proficient in English because of the American occupation. Spain ceded control to the United States in 1898 and the Philippines only became independent in 1946. It's a great achievement to invent our own writing system, Leo Emanuel Castro, executive, director of cultural groups and hobby, sold agent France Press, AFP. Our language is gender neutral. Professions and pronouns have no sex whereas English is very sexist. The campaign to bring Bay Bay into the mainstream of in January, when the House of Representatives passed a bill mandating its use in science and educational materials. The bill is called in the Senate, but the proposal has been refiled in the new session that started in July. Holiday Hotspot for the Island has already ordered the use of Bay Bay in signage, in a bid to counter the proliferation of Chinese characters for tourists. Regional cultural advocates, however, they such efforts threaten all of the nation's indigenous script. Their anger is rooted in a 1937 proclamation that catalogued be the basis of the national spoken language now called Filipino, and they see the revival of the Bay Bay in text as another blow for the nation's linguistic diversity. Kasimpang in Kulat in the Philippines has become a country only for the catalog, said Michael Pamilanen, an advocate of the Kulat in script of Kampanga province, to warn local identity would be completely wiped out if using Bay Bay and becomes mandatory. The Philippine state makes us ashamed of who we are, and so the Kasimpangan people themselves are the ones repressing their own language and culture to become Filipinos, have lost, the Milanin said in an email to AFP. When it comes to a national discussion, you need to use the dominant language known by the majority, countered J. E. Nash. Pair of Bay Bay and Duane, a group lobbying for the bill. But the practicalities of bringing a historic script into modern use, teaching it in school, and honing it to fit places of work and 21st century life, may be the biggest challenge. It will just be a novelty, for display, said Jocelyn Odilo Gray, professor of creative writing and popular culture at Manila University of Santo Tomas. It won't be a platform for communication, he added, saying lawmakers should instead prioritize improving education infrastructure and teachers' salaries. Virgilio Almario, chair of the Government Commission on Filipino Language, said it was important to walk the line between losing scripts to extinction and being practical about usage. 
We need to balance this carefully. We need Filipino as a great language but we should also appreciate the languages of all communities, he said. Colonial mentality more than division. Advocates say Filipinos should see opportunity in belonging to a multilingual country. The heart and soul of the country is its culture. The problem is that we don't value it due to our colonial mentality. Filipino American day day and artist Christian Catway told AFP. He added, it's part of our culture and our identity, and if we forget about it, we throw away part of ourselves. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.